welcome back to my channel. I'm Kathy, you are at Spicy Cat Jams, and I have part two of my latest hauler haul. I will link in the part one in case you missed that and care to see it. I spent so much, I had to split it into two. Yeah, it happens if you're not familiar with hauler. Um, watch the first two minutes of the first video so I can try and save time. I'm gonna link my referral co code down below. Uh, if you use that code, sign up and make a purchase, you will receive $2 off your purchase and free shipping. I believe the minimum is $10 to take advantage of that. Don't quote me, I could be wrong, but I know it's really reasonable. And then um, if you do do that, I will receive a $2 credit. So. It's a wonderful thing, and then once you have an account set up, then you're gonna have a referral code, and you can share that with your friends, and then you can get credit. So it's just happy, happy, happy world to do that. I um, recently had a coupon where I received 40% off my total order, so I really went overboard. I did not expect everything to be in stock, so not that that's a good reason to buy all of this, but I did. I have um, mostly the small stuff, like the stationery kind of toys, fun little things, a few beauty things that I will show you in this haul. The previous haul had more some some crafty items, some um, organizer home type um, items. I'm blanking on what to call it. So it was. I tried to like keep it a little more organized. Speaking of organized, the first thing I'm gonna show you, this is the reason I went shopping there. This was a $10 cost. I will be inserting the prices down below as to what I paid for each of these as items as which the website listed as they're paid. I actually paid 40% less than what's going to show. And if I have it, I will include what they list as their retail price. Um, just to give you an idea, I don't know if those are inflated retail prices, but it seems pretty pretty close to me. So this is what I ordered and I got two sets of them. They came in this box like this. And they are a set of three storage bins. Now in my last haul, which was also very large, I had just a single large storage bin that I was very impressed with, so I knew I would like these. So um, this was the color I chose. I don't think they had a lot, but I don't care. It's a bright lime green. This is a three piece, and each one of these comes wrapped in plastic, and then you pull it out, and they unfold. Here's like your sturdy bottom. And what I absolutely love about these, I'm just gonna show you how simple this is. Oh, I have it upside down. It goes this way, and you put your bottom piece right in there to make it sturdy. And then the, the lids are attached. That I absolutely love. You will fold these little flaps open and push, sorry, trying to do this backwards. <laughs> and then there you have, this is the smallest size. And if you notice, so then it's got this little like pull. So if this is on a drawer, you can pull it. And there is a pocket here so you can slip in a tag. Now what I can tell you about these is, I'm not sure I'm gonna have to compare it to the other one I bought. Whatever these are made of, they stink, like really bad. Oh, like really bad, I don't even know it was, was kind of a familiar scent to me, but um, I don't like the scent. So these will be aired out. Maybe I will put like my wax melts <laughs> in them to help um, help help take away the stench. So um, what I want to do though, just to show you how large these are, because if they are still available or if they become available, I want you to know what you're going to get. I'm just going to pause you quick and I'm going to put the other two together so you can see the actual size of them. Hold on. Okay, let's see if I can do this. And this is gonna sound totally gross, but I think I've identified the scent. And I don't mean this in a bad, well, it stinks, but not, it reminds me of my best friend when I was a kid, the pig barn. Her parents were hog farmers, and when I would sleep over, we'd have to like go feed the pigs. And it doesn't smell like, you know, pig poop, not that part of a pig, but kind of that combination when you walk in the barn and I think it's like the feed and the hay and just the general overall dust kind of a lingering in a barn. So not like the pigsty poop, but it reminds me of that scent. 
if you're a farmer person, maybe you can relate and you know what I'm talking about. So it's still not a pleasant smell. Okay, here we go. This is the largest. Um, if I can find measurements, I'll put them in here. I don't know. But this is very large and all of them have the, the tab to pull and the um, spot for a label. So that is number one. Or, the largest size and they all have that insert in the bottom here is the second one now this <laughs> oops <laughs> holla it's fallen <laughs> um this i was trying to say is an actual it's like a square base it's not a t complete cube but um the, it's a square this is more of a rectangular shape you can see and they all have the lids that are attached open and close and then what I showed you the first time was the smaller one. What I'm trying to see is if they all fit inside each other. Not that you would do that, but to carry it home would make it easier for me. Uh, it doesn't look like they will. I'm trying to make it work. Um, they kind of will nest, but this top one must be a little bit taller. So this was a great deal stank and all for um the price in my opinion so i ordered two of these sets and once they air out they will be great to keep like um i always have the tower of like the bath towels and the hand towels and the washcloth so here you go i can organize them each into their own little bin so i'm just gonna get this out of the way hold on Okay, I got that packed back up and out of the way. I got another reusable bag that I love the color and pattern of. This is a fabric type. It says Planet, Planet Bags? Planet E Bags, it's called. Um, so it is fabric. It does have an inside pocket, but very nice to keep in your vehicle whenever you need a bag. I do have some items in here because I was sticking them in and they are duplicates of other items. I figured I can just show you one of everything I purchased. They have um, accessories and I didn't know if this would work. I haven't tried it yet. This is a wallet. It's I think it's a, a fake leather, but it is a, let's see here, the Metropolitan Ultimate. It's basically a wallet. It opens up here. You've got a spot for your credit card, your license, two rows of that, um, a spot there. And then this opens, it's a zipper on top, and that just goes the halfway down for like your coin purse. So I wanna see, I have um, two checkbooks that I carry with me all the time, as well as my other identification and cards. So it's sometimes hard to find a wallet that will work. Um, to hold those checkbooks and not like bust out. So I thought this was worth, again, for the price, it was worth trying out. And if not, I know I can pass it on to a friend. Then we got, let's just go through these stack of books. Now I picked up two of these because my mother-in-law likes to do word finds when we road trip together, we do them. So here are just the word finds hide and seek. Um, yes, normally I can get these at Dollar Tree. However, they were already, these were a dollar and I got 40% off. So I can't get that good of a deal at Dollar Tree. So I picked those up for her. And then um, I was interested in, they have some adult coloring items out there. And again, I wasn't gonna pay what they were listing as their full price, but when I factored in the 40% off, I wanted to try it because if you've done any of the adult coloring, not all books are created the same. Some are very thin papered, some are printed on the front and the back, so you really can only color on one side if you're using a marker. So this is what I picked up. This first one, it's actually just six designs. It's almost like little posters and it's all art therapy coloring pages, six designs living in color. It's the um, fly away is the theme. And of course I bought it because they have several with butterflies. I um, have a big thing for butterflies. If you're new here, you maybe didn't know that, but I do, they are, um, especially monarchs. Mean a lot to me, it's kind of whenever I see a monarch, I feel it's my mom. Both my parents have passed and I feel that is when mom and dad are like letting me know they're still with me. So 
anyway I picked up two more of these I think they're still the living in color yeah this they're all the living in color brand these are art therapy coloring books and they're a little bit different size they're a little smaller they each have 12 designs in this one is called lost in the forest and they do seem um, they are single-sided so it shouldn't you know run through and if you, it's more like it's not a, a thick card stock so I'm not sure how it will work I'll probably place something beneath it but um, very beautiful there are duplicates so there's the 12 designs and there's two of each design so this is the for what did I say the lost in the forest which has some beautiful forest animals and some butterflies and then this is the enchanted garden I'm pretty sure there's butterflies in this one too which is why I bought it and of course it has this um, lovely let me see if I can find it hold on it's got one of those like plastic circle tabs to keep it shut I don't want to ruin a page but I want to open this to show you so um, for those of my friends out there that are owl people, check that one out. And this is the same thing. There's 12 designs and there is two of each design. Um, that beautiful peacock. I love these coloring. They're just, I mean, it's so nice and de-stressful and you can really do whatever you want. And look at that adorable cat. So these are very nice. And they are, um, see, there's this white space and this is perforated right here so you could tear them out and then I picked up this style this is the larger art therapy coloring book this is the Botanica version and there are 50 um, designs and this is um, it feels like about the same quality paper but they are one-sided um, lovely designs and if you're scared of doing these you know you I pick up some of them at the Dollar Tree and um, some of those the quality of the paper but you could like make a photocopy of the page you know take the book and photocopy it and you could copy it onto like a thicker cardstock or any different kind of paper to um, play with it if you're worried about like mark you know the whole point is to mark up your book but I understand if it's a design you really like you might want to practice first so just make a photocopy and like test out your colors before you do the the full one you can do that okay now we're all in little stuff these are um, I have multiples of them and I picked some up at Target and I absolutely love them and cannot find where to open it so I'm just going to show you. They are little silicone travel containers. You can see they're squishy. They have a twist off. Well here, here's the one I have from Target. I have it at my desk because they have lotion in it. So it's the same concept. These are a little smaller obviously but um, you can put your product in here and then you open it up and like I have like lotion, you know, that like those body butters that come in tubs. I um, put them in here so it's much easier to use. So I picked up a bunch of these in purple, pink, and yellow for um, the same purpose. Again, it's for my direct sales business. Um, I have lotions and the like that I like to be able to sample to people. And this is a much sa more sanitary way that they can try product and not like stick their hands into the into the butter these I had noticed before and I you know decided I needed to get them because hmm, did I mention I had a 40% off coupon <laughs> I could give you the coupon code but it's not valid anymore so I'm not trying to tease you but look at these little pens they are I believe they're called little giraffes so they have bodies they stand and then here is the actual pen so when you're writing the butts up in the air but I picked up the gray one and they had it in blue and in pink with white polka dots. I think they had just a white one as well, but I got these to give out. I, um, if I've mentioned before, I have nieces and nephews, godchildren that I like to send little care packages to. I thought that was a nice, fun little, little item to do for them. Another stationary item, <laughs> this is for my friend that I mentioned earlier that grew up on a pig farm. I give her pig products all the time. Now it doesn't look so much like a pig here, but it says it's a pig pencil sharpener. And the nose 
lifts up and that's where you sharpen. So, and then the whole head will just pop off. But I just thought it was a cute little thing to give her to put on her desk. Another, um, <laughs> this is hilarious. And Miss um, Kathy, no guts, no glory, I th think you got this too. It is this giant pen. And I have a friend that I used to work with and I miss her a lot. I will <laughs> send this to, and it has a battery in, so the pen, how do you actually, oh, we twist it. I didn't even know how to make the pen work. Because the exciting part is, if you can see it, it says no. And there's a little button you push. No! No! And it says no. No, no! In multiple no! variations. No! No! So, I said no! I'm going to send this to her. She'll get a hoot out of it. Um, I think those are all the stationary type items. I did get a couple beauty items. Yes, Holler has beauty items and their name brand. They currently have some Tony Moly items. Um, I just picked up, these are the only sheet masks they had left. At one point they had like five different variations. So I got the Vitality Broccoli Mask sheet mask. I picked up three of those. Um, they do have some of the more expensive, like lotions and lip products. I did not get any of those because I'm still pretty cheap and they were too expensive. This was an All May eyeshadow that is just in a very pale pink that um, will work well for me. I've never tried All May, but I know it is um, you know, hypoallergenic and this is a pretty good size for this price to, to get a name brand. This, I just picked up one. It was the Iman. I'm Iman, is that her name? Um, the model. She had a couple different lip products out there, and this is a luxury lip shimmer in kind of this burgundy ish color. And I just wanted to, to try it. I didn't know um, how the coloring would be for me. I am pretty much a pale skin, but I do like dark colors. It's your doe foot applicator. Let's just try a little on over my pink that's wearing off. I just put it on my bottom lip and then did a smooch. It's kind of an, you know, I'd say it's like a gloss. It's not too sticky. I'm not big on stickiness. What do you think? It's got a little bit of a gold shimmer to it. I'm looking at the mirror over there. I'm happy with this for that price to try it out. There were, like I said, there was other colors as well. Um, another makeup item, they do have lots of e.l.f. products. This is an under eye setting power powder again. Do I need it? I don't know, do I need an under eye setting powder? I do use an under eye concealer brightener. They had um, LA Girl, they had Pro Concealer, and they had the um, like the yellowish color, the banana, and the lavender as well. I just picked up the green because what I typically need to work with is I have some redness in my cheeks. And this was an NYC Appalicious Glossy Lip Balm. I just picked up because I like things with a little color and it's got a little apple in there. That's all we got for beauty. Now let's just start in the the fun, the fun littles. And please forgive me as I keep turning. It's just, I wanna show you everything. They, I have gotten into these blind bags. Now what I have become is a blind bag collector and not an opener. I don't know why. Part of me doesn't want, you know, it's the, the suspense makes me excited. So I'm not sure if and when I'm gonna open these, but I know I'll make it into a video. So here we got a Disney figural, um, key ring. This is series five and I don't know enough about these to know you know the different series but I recognize some of these characters so it'll be interesting to see who is in there. Then I've got a Batman versus Superman blind bag. I recently watched that movie and I'm it, it was beyond me. I couldn't figure out why Superman and Batman were fighting each other and yeah, I think I need miss the first Justice League. Maybe that would help. Anyway, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We got one of those. This is also a key figurine. Then I got some more Disney. This is another one of the key rings. Um, is this a different series? I wonder if this was an earlier series. I wonder if it's series one because it doesn't say. Um, 
it looks like you could have either Mickey or Minnie or one of the princesses. And this is what I'm most excited about. It is the Disney Villains blind bag. So definitely will be my most exciting one to open. This I think I got just because I searched for anything cat or kitten. And this came up because I think, I don't know, I don't know, um, Lala, Lala Oopsa? Lala Oopsie? Lala Loopsie? Anyway, it's erasers, mittens, fluff and stuff. So is this supposed to be the cat? Um, that's why I bought it. They're little erasers. I thought they were cute. This is a whole roll of emoji stickers. Now, I don't know if it's the one, I don't think it's the one I thought I ordered, but um, I don't have, I'll look and I'll put a comment and I'll see if they're all the same, but I, pretty sure I didn't order robots, cats maybe, but I thought it was like a monkey and a heart and something else that were supposed to be on the one I ordered. But this is still good. This I ordered for my little nephew. I have so many girl things from like my beauty boxes and stuff and I always send care packages to them and then I, <laughs> I always struggle to get stuff for him because I don't have many boy things. Well they had these cute little, they had several NFL and um, Major League Baseball like licensed products really inexpensive. So this is just, I think it's supposed to be like to clip on a backpack and he's a Packers fan, him and his, him and his dad. He and his dad are back Packers fans. So it's um, NFL licensed bleacher, bleacher creatures they're called. So I'll send that to him. And then we got a bunch of fun little stickers. Now I have a very good friend out here who's a little obsessed with stickers and her J to the O to the U to the R to the N to the A to the L. You know who you are, girl. Um, some of these will be coming your way. Not sure yet, I might like split some out um, to share with others, but um, these were very fun. This is a hundred sticker sheet of all Shopkins and I got two of those. There are um, four sheets and which equal a total of a hundred. So I'm not sure if they're all the same in here. Like I said, I'm probably going to open these up so I can kind of split them up, but I'll make sure the ones I send you, you get double because I know that's important to you. <laughs> Um, then look at these emoji stickers. I did find some emoji stickers at Dollar Tree once, but they were, I think, all like the same size and they were smaller. So this is a total of 136 stickers and there's four sheets. Again, I'll need to find out if they're all the same. I picked up two of those. Then we got, these just look so fun. They are scratch and sniff. So we have, it says there's over 50 stickers in here. This is a grape scratch and sniff. This one is a strawberry. And it looks like some, well, they're even different. I thought maybe like the designs were all the same, but I don't think so. And these are vanilla. So I love scratch and sniff. Then this is super cute. It is a Shopkins um, sticker kit. So again, it's over 400 stickers and it has a scene. So it looks like I can open it pretty easily here. Let's see if I can, what I can see. Maybe the box is the scene. <laughs> I don't wanna, oh, it was in there. Oh, so this is like the scene. Kind of reminds me of those, was it the memory foam kind of cling things when I was a kid? So then you can take your stickers, which are in this little pack, and create your scene. So that's that's fun, I'm sure. We'll compare it to the other um, Shopkins ones. And then these I grabbed because they are pretty fun and we're gonna open them to see what's in it. There was a Care Bears Take and Play. So, the, um, you know, people haul this kind of stuff and they don't always show you what's in it. Well, I want to know what's in it. So, um, it says four coloring boards, three washable markers, 24 fun pad, and 25 stickers. Okay, they're little, like, pretty hokey markers, but that's okay. This is a notepad that says bear hugs. It's just white paper, pretty flimsy, but it's a notepad. And then 
here is okay these are the four coloring boards so these you can color with your little markers and you see they got the little things you could pop them out and make them stand so we have that and there's four different care bears here i've got that one i love grumpy <laughs> and then this one and then oh i was hoping there'd be more stickers there's just one sheet of stickers in this color and play but it's kind of a fun i know for sure i've seen this type of thing at dollar tree and i think it's great um if you've got kids in the car kind of a thing you can just pick one of these up and then entertain themselves and here's my last item this is a grab bag my little pony grab bag let us see what's in it because like i said if these are still out there on holler then you know if you want to go get one um and also if i hadn't mentioned it you know they might they run out of stuff fairly quickly because it's really good deals but often some things will come back in stock oh i just realized this had a zipper I could, or a, a flap i could have opened and i cut it open anyway here we go we got markers again um one sheet of my little pony stickers and what do we have here so this is just a larger version i think of the um play pack because here these got a little you can see they're a little warped a little bent but um here's one again where you would color it and it's got the little stand you put together and then here we have this must just stand up or you can color it it doesn't have it doesn't pop out rainbow dash there so pretty fun um i know that these will go to a good home i probably will not use them but again for the price with the 40 percent off i wanted to check them out to see if they're worth um buying if i see them again so there you go it's another really long haul and this was part two so i apologize i'm not sure how much i'm gonna be able to edit out but if i hadn't split this we'd be like a full hour holler haul i think i need to start a group you know hi i'm kathy i have an addiction i have a shopping problem at holla so thank you so much if you hung out with me here till the end i greatly appreciate it i would love to hear if you have um shopped at holler if you found any wonderful deals and if you're at all interested please use my referral link or you can just go to the website you don't need to use my referral link so thank you again i will let you get out of here in case no one's told you today you matter you make a difference in my life so you matter to me and you are important thanks friend i hope to see you again soon bye and it's acrylic you can see it's got um here's actually a, a slide in so you could slide there's two shelves and then this is a third I guess so tops these could hold like lipsticks and then here are just three we'll call them buckets you could have brushes back here but you know keep in mind they call it a cosmetics organizer but it could be for anything 